So I know that's terrible, but as I mentioned before, I can't play music um, written by somebody else before these things uh, because then they won't get uploaded anywhere. Anyways, um, I haven't uploaded in a while, so I figured I would this morning and <clears throat> just kind of talk about a couple things. Um, um, firstly, I just want to say, I just want to talk about the two things that are, that have affected me the most, um, the two most obvious, um, life issues that I have that have, have, um, changed and become a problem since Rachel passed away. Um, and one of them is sleep. Uh, I can't sleep. Um, in any regular kind of pattern, like, um, I definitely don't sleep every night at all. I, I, it seems to be that I sleep every two nights. So I'll go two nights without sleeping and then I'll have a night where I sleep really hard. Um, and I think it's because I can't shut my mind down. So the only time I really sleep is when my body's just had it and, and, uh, automatically shuts down. And the reason why that's a problem, uh, other than the obvious reason that that's terrible, but um, is it, it's been causing me trouble at work. Um, so, uh, you know, if I have to work early in the morning or I'm asked to come in early or whatever it is, um, <clears throat> it's really hard to... Uh, to adjust to that and to predict the, the day that I won't hear my alarm or whatever it is. I set two different alarms, the Alexa and my phone every morning. And the majority of the time I shut the, the alarm off way long before it ever goes off because I don't, I'm not sleeping and I'm awake the whole night trying to sleep. So, um, but recently, you know, and so on the days when I do crash, I'll sleep right through everything and I'll wake up right, like noon, four hours late to work, completely devastated, just, and I give up for the day. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't, um, I don't know what else to do. So overall, I think my mental state, like my sanity in general is not, is not, a. Uh, Certainly not a hundred percent. I don't, and I don't know. Um, I wish I knew specifically, like what. Maybe there's a specific something specific you could diagnose me with, but um, I don't know. So, my blood work seems fine, um, other than I have some high blood pressure and stuff like that, but. Uh, so the second thing that I've noticed is that um, since Rachel died, and uh, and, I, and so I noticed this a little bit actually while she was sick, she noticed it a little bit. Um, my speech is slurred. So, yeah. Um, there's times when I have trouble speaking or vocalizing what I'm thinking. Sometimes my speech comes out slower than uh, the pace of my thoughts. And I really would love to know what that is. Um, uh, so, I, I don't know. That's it's kind of getting in my way because it's embarrassing. More than anything, it's embarrassing. Oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm just trying to open my window here for my cat. But, um, yeah, the speech thing's embarrassing, and Rachel obviously never judged me or anything, but she was concerned about it. She thought it was um, something that I need to think about and look into, and she might be right, because it's getting worse now, and it could be a lack of sleep. Um, I definitely wasn't sleeping well when Rachel was sick because she wasn't sleeping well and we were sharing a bed. And towards the end there, the last few months, um, before she went to the hospital the, the last time, um, 
she, she went a month, six weeks without, without sleep at all. Um, she would sleep sitting up. She couldn't lie backwards because of the tumor masses in her belly. And so that was a really hard time for us. I think that's when I was kind of getting close to my breaking point. And she has, she would, had already, um, she was there. Um, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, those are, those are the things. Um, thinking about her dying is, is hard. Uh, I can't get that pa- I can't get past that thinking about her dying. Like I can't Yeah. You know, it's just hard to think about um the images, you know, or like Yeah. I don't think she would want me really focusing on that, so I'm trying not to. Um the the, the thinking about her dying is uh, kind of what keeps me from sleeping or having any sort of restful time in my life. Um, And then the pain, the sadness is really just is thinking about before she ever got sick. And I miss being with her. I miss waking up with her. I miss having coffee with her. I miss hearing her opinions. I miss her checking me on my bullshit. I miss her being there to kind of she always gave me drive to be better. Um, and I miss my friend. I'm fucking lonely, you know? Really lonely and kind of shut off to, to like, f- finding someone else. Um, you know, there'll never be another Rachel. There just never will be. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you hear that from everybody, like, uh, who's lost some, the love of their life, and I believe them. My uncle Richie, my godfather, his wife Linda died, um, from cancer, uh, years ago, I think. Uh, 10, 11 years ago, maybe, maybe more. Um, and he's never, uh, found anyone else. Not that, not that I know of. Um, uh, JJ was his, is his, uh, basically his daughter was, um, my aunt Linda's daughter. And I know he, um, he considers that, that, Linda's family, his family, and, um, but he's never, he's never found anyone else or moved on, um, in that sense. So different people have different, um, ways of dealing with it. Uh, it's really nice out this morning. So I am going to stop here and, um, Yeah, I'll be back soon.